We chose to study titanium foam. Titanium foam is a lightweight, porous biomaterial that is made out of an alloy of titanium. It's a type of metallic foam that has current uses in the biomedical, aerospace, architectural fields, and beyond. Titanium foam is produced by a method called the slurry method. First, the titanium slurry is prepared by mixing an alloy of titanium powder, polyethylene glycol, and methyl cellulose at high temperatures. Polyurethane foam is then impregnated into the slurry and the entire solution is allowed to harden. The mixture is then sintered in a vacuum at high temperatures and the resulting structure is quantified using machines such as a scanning electron microscope and x-ray diffraction to ensure that the material has the correct porosity, chemical composition, and structure. Titanium foam is composed of an alloy of titanium and polyurethane. Polyurethane is included in order to ensure a high yield strength of the metal while keeping its density low. Currently there's being work done on the composition of this alloy to improve it, including adding polyethylene glycol and methyl cellulose to the alloy, which increases its porosity and tensile strength. In the future, they're looking to oxidize the titanium foam slurry before sintering it to provide corrosive resistance so that this metal can be used in medical implants without the possibility of corrosion in the body. Titanium has since been used in biomedical as well as aerospace innovations. For example, titanium foam is molded into a bone-like material to be used for implants. Damaged bones can be strengthened or replaced with this material as its spongy structure imitates that of normal bone, and in turn, still allows for blood vessels and nutrients to pass through it. Additionally, titanium is able to handle large amounts of pressure, which makes it ideal for joint replacement surgeries. Composite metal foam such as titanium foam can maintain high tensile strength at temperatures up to 400 degrees Celsius and are therefore excellent materials in architectural design in order to withstand temperature variations in severe weather conditions. The material also naturally absorbs sound, meaning that it can be used to dampen large rooms and serve as a more aesthetically pleasing alternative to acoustic panels. One challenge that engineers encounter when designing electronics is managing power loss in the form of heat. Titanium foams are one prominent passive solution that can be implemented into cooling systems when fans cannot. We see this most recently in LED lamps to decrease the internal temperature of the LED. In the future, we will likely see composite foams such as titanium foam as the primary materials in body armor for military and first responders. The goal in choosing a wearable material for this purpose is maximizing durability and minimizing weight, both of which are achieved by titanium foam. As the foam can stop or destroy a bullet, it makes sense that we would also see this used for car parts, and particularly bumpers, to nullify the effects of a roadway collision. For this reason, titanium foam may also appeal to the commercial market. The story of titanium's origin is truly fascinating. Just like numerous other elements and metals on the periodic table, titanium was first created in supernovas, and as much as 100 times the mass of Earth of titanium-44 can be made per supernova. Reverend William Greger was the first to discover the element in 1791, but in 1795, Martin Heinrich Klaproth was the first to officially identify and name titanium. Titanium has also been used industrially for years since the 1930s when William Kroll invented an extracting method. There are many instances where titanium and its alloys are used in aerospace engineering feats, such as the International Space Station and jet planes and engines. Titanium's natural properties allow it to resist corrosion and heat-induced damages, which especially comes in handy for withstanding the extreme pressures and temperatures of Earth's atmosphere. In everyday life, Titanium can also be found in household items like watches, bicycles, and eyeglass frames. Titanium can also be found in athletic equipment like tennis rackets. Titanium alloys have important commercial and economic implications. The use of titanium alloys in the aerospace industry is increasing as it offers higher strength at increased temperatures as compared to other metal alloys. So many aerospace industries are switching to this metal in order to ensure longevity of their mechanics. While it's an expensive metal, costing around $60 to $100 per kilogram, machinists and engineers alike are looking to use it as a replacement for some aluminum alloys in order to increase the lifespan of their parts. 
In all, titanium foam and titanium alloys in general have important implications on our society.